Congratulations if you were able to go ahead and pick up an iPhone 14. These are tremendous phones for the most part. You know, they, they could have been better, but whatever. We're not going to get into it right now. So I'll give you a quick breakdown and tutorial on how to use this iPhone. It's not anything crazy if you used any other iPhone before. It's a very basic process, but there are some cool, unique features with your iPhone 14 that you should probably know of. Now on the front, we have our 6.1 inch Super Retina XR OLED panel. If you have these 14 plus, it's a 6.7 inch panel. They have the exact same features built within. The pros are completely different this year, but with these ones, the 14 and 14 plus, pretty much the exact same features. So if you look on the you know, top, you have that notch, which is still perfectly fine. Front facing camera, which is great still too. On the left side, we have our volume buttons. So we have our volume up and volume down button, and we have our mute on off switch. Now, if you look on the left side, you will see we no longer have that SIM card tray. Now, this is totally okay, we'll get used to it. I have several tutorials on exactly how to convert or go from a actual SIM card to your actual phone with an eSIM. So I'll leave that link down in the description in case you don't wanna watch it. Basically, the simple way is either you contact your provider and let them know you're switching your phones, or if you're migrating from your older iPhone with a SIM card, you may actually be able to go ahead and just have a button that says, hey, you know, we're migrating, you know, use an eSIM, transfer your SIM card to your iPhone 14. If you have that capability, then I'd recommend using it. If not, you can call your provider, they can walk you through that. Now on the others, on the bottom, we have our lightning port where we can charge our iPhone at, a speaker grill at the bottom too. On the right side, we have our on off switch power button slash Siri button. And this little band right here is the 5G option. So basically just, you know, it's the antenna band basically for our iPhone, which is really nice. On the back side, we have a standard glass back, no frosted glass back or anything like that, but it still looks very good. Like I'm still a fan of the way this specific device looks like here. Now we have a dual camera setup up top as well. Now I think this type of camera layout with the white model looks beautiful. I had the blue model of the iPhone 13 and the white one I think is definitely my favorite color right now. Even though it looks bland, definitely one of my favorite colors right now. And that kind of covers it up on the outside. Now we have the MagSafe capability here if you're into that wireless charging IP certification. But we now have the new emergency SOS satellite mode. So if you're somebody and you're in the middle of nowhere, your iPhone will actually point you of exactly where to go ahead and you know find a satellite. And you should be able to go ahead and make calls, receive calls or anything like that with your iPhone. So that is a really awesome thing that our iPhone now has. Now on the lock screen, if you're very new to iOS or iOS 16, we now have the ability of customizing our lock screen. So the very front, you can go ahead and turn your phone on by clicking and tapping on the you know screen like this, but you can also click on the power button that's on the side right here that I showcased you earlier. Now at the bottom, we have some toggles, flashlight, camera. We also have the time and date right here. We have the control center up in the top right so we can swipe down and get into there, which we'll get into in a second. And if you have any notifications, they will basically come up at the very bottom right here. So this is great if you're getting texts or anything, they'll basically come here, which is really cool. However, with iOS 16, we have the ability of customizing our lock screen. So what we can do now is we can hold down on our display, just like this, and we can go and customize our screen. So what we can do is we can go at the bottom, we can click customize, and we can go ahead and add widgets to our home screen if we want to. We can change the you know, specific font of our time. We can go and add widgets by clicking widgets right here. And there's a lot of customizability that you have here, which I would highly recommend utilizing. Again, you don't want to go overboard because each little thing you change, this kind of change battery life a little bit, keep that in mind. But regardless, that is a really cool thing that our iPhone 14s now have the capability of. Now clicking done, it can go and you know set both as whatever. You can also add new wallpaper screens by clicking here. But for this case, we'll just go in and use a basic one like this. Now to get through your phone, you can always swipe up. These iPhones use a gesture-based design. So basically, if we go ahead and want to go home, we swipe up from the bottom. So let's say we're in the phone application. We swipe up from the top. You can even see that little bar at the bottom right there. You can swipe up and that will basically you know move that app out of the way. Now you can also get into multitasking if you swipe up and then basically stop halfway. If you kind of go at it at an angle, you basically see all these applications that you've been using. And I would recommend swiping out of these applications as often as possible. You don't have to swipe out of all of them if you don't want to, but kind of get in the process of swiping through. You can also swipe between applications. So let's say I had Safari up, this is the internet browser. I can swipe between applications like this. And that's another really cool thing that you have. As long as you pretty much know those three things, you've pretty much mastered, you know, gestures at that point. Now our home screen is very similar to other iPhones or any phone for that matter. So if you're familiar with any other device, essentially we can swipe between pages. All the applications that we download will be on our home screens or they'll be all the way at the end on our app library. So you can always come here. It's all your applications on your phone categorized. You can even swipe down like this and you'll be able to see all the applications that you have. So this is a very basic breakdown, but again, all your apps that you have will be here. You can even swipe up from the top here to come back into your main page of your phone. 
Now you have the ability of adding widgets, you have the ability of seeing your time at the top left, your specific control center toggles at the top right, the notch is still there, which we've talked about. You can always go ahead and swipe to the left as well. And these are just all your other widgets that you have on your phone, kind of a little bit more categorized, which does look kind of nice. But what you can always do is edit these pages up. So if you don't like how your specific app icons look, you can always grab an app icon and you can move it to a different page by holding it down here, grabbing it to the side and moving it to a different page. You can also delete an app by clicking on and holding on the app. So let's say it was like this. You can hold down on the application like this. You can click a remove app. You can go and either delete the app or remove from home screen. So it's up to you whatever you want to do, but probably most people want to delete the app, but you can go and do that there. What you can also do is delete widgets. So the same exact thing, hold down on a widget here. You can click remove stack, remove, and that will remove the widget. What you can also do is hold down on an empty style of the icon. You can click the plus button on the top left corner, and you can add a different widget if you want to. So if you want to go ahead and add, let's say the batteries widget here, well, I can go and grab this battery widget, click add widget, and it'll allow me to add that widget there too, which is so awesome. So. You can click done and now your phone is ready to go. Now the next thing is, you know, basically if you swipe down from the left side of the screen, so either from the notch or from that time there, you'll basically come into a panel that looks just like your lock screen. So again, this is totally fine. This is essentially where your notifications are going to be. Swiping back up, on the right side we get into our control center toggles. So here on the left side, this specific block here, if you hold it down, all these you can long press for the most part. You can go ahead and access airplane mode, your cellular data, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. You can go and toggle these on and off. You're now playing. If you're playing any songs, that will come right here. Your screen rotation. So if you want to rotate your screen or lock it, it'll lock it or rotate it. Screen mirroring option you have right there. You can change and interchange the brightness and sound. So if you want your phone to be brighter or less bright, you can go and configure that there, as well as the sound. You can increase the sound or decrease the sound depending on really up to you. So that is another really cool feature right there. You have your focus modes here. So these are basically do not disturb. So if you click here, you can go and configure whether you want, you can click the X button here, whether you want do not disturb mode, personal mode, everything. I mean, the sky's the limit right here. So that is another really cool thing that you have the ability of doing. You can also toggle on your flashlight by clicking on the flashlight here, but you can also configure these in the settings, which we'll get into in a second. Now that's that for that. I mean, this is pretty much almost everything you need from your iPhone. Now you have phone calls, you have iMessage, you have all these other applications. If you ever want to download an application on your phone, you can go inside of your app store. So you can also go through, and this is a very important thing too, let's say you're trying to find an application and you can't find it. Let's say you're trying to find your phone app or you're trying to find the app store. What you can always do is at the very bottom of our iPhone 14, this is new with an iOS 16, we can click the search button that's right there and it will bring us into Spotlight Search. If you don't see that, you can always swipe down from the top right there and get into Spotlight Search as well. You can search for applications. So you can go and type in like App Store or App, whatever, and you can start finding applications. So that's another quick little thing. If you want to download an application, you can go ahead and pretty much make your way to your App Store here. You can search for an app. So let's say I want to download the YouTube application. I can go ahead and click on there. I can go and just start typing in YouTube just like so. I can go ahead and download the YouTube application just like this. So. It's really up to you, but this is another really cool thing that I would probably recommend looking at as well. Now, swiping out of this one, another cool thing that we have the ability of doing is within our settings application. So this is the most important application, and one of the more important things I'd recommend doing is as soon as you buy your phone, kind of get used to the settings app because you're going to probably be in it a lot. Now, up top, we have, you know, your name up here. You have your, you know, other information up there too. Now, you'll have a couple of panels, which we'll get into in a second. Actually, we probably won't. If there's anything important, they'll probably come up right here. Now, it's going to tell you some other stuff. I've never had so many pop-ups on a brand new iPhone like this one. I don't know what was going on with this one. Now, you have the standard stuff. I mean, most of you probably know this by now, but you have Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, cellular, airplane mode. So you can go and kind of mess with those if you want to. You have your notification panel. Screen time is really cool because you can go ahead and pretty much see how much you're using your phone and everything, which is really awesome. This is, this is my phone. That's another really cool thing. Hopping back out, you have your general settings, which is really important. So this is probably the most important area. Click on general. Now about, you'll basically see everything that's about your iPhone, which is cool. But the main thing is software update. What you want to do is you want to click on software update. And I would recommend updating your iPhone as soon as you buy it. There are tons of features. As you can see, there's, you know, things that are already, you know, kind of messed up with the iPhone 14. So if you want the best likelihood and highest likelihood of having success with your iPhone, just go ahead and update your device. And that is probably one of the most important things you can do in this specific case as well. So update your iPhone and then pretty much go on from there. Now there's not really a whole lot else here. If you want to shut down your iPhone, you can go in here. If you want to manage your iPhone storage, you can click here too. Now personally, I think Apple can maneuver these things and put them on the front panel rather than having them in general settings. But I guess they are general settings. 
Now under display and brightness, there's nothing else crazy. You can turn on light mode or dark mode, it's really up to you. There's no always on display on these phones, which is very sad, so there's no option here. Hopping back out, we have a lot of other toggles. I mean, they're all pretty much the same thing at this point. You have your app store up there, you have different system settings like iMessages and FaceTime. But a lot of these, like the lower you go, the less and less you'll probably ever use them. The only other thing is right here with battery. You can monitor your battery and your battery health, which is kind of cool. But other than that, there's really not a lot of things here where people will start using them. So that is that. If we go and hop back out, that, that is pretty much everything you need to know about with your iPhone 14. Now within the camera, there are a couple of new features. You know, you have the standard photo mode here. Under cinematic mode, you now have the ability of, or even under standard video mode, you have this new toggle up here called action mode. So you can click here and I wouldn't recommend using it. I don't think everyone needs to use it, but it's a cool thing which stabilizes the video a little bit more. So I think that's a really cool thing. So if you're into that, you can go and utilize it. Other than that, the cameras are pretty much the same thing. If you used any other iPhone camera before, you can go and access the cameras here. You can see the photos here. But I will say, if you ever want to take a screenshot on your iPhone 14, it's the process. It's the same process on all the other iPhones. You want to go ahead and click the volume up button and the power button at the same time. So when you do that, you'll see basically we have the little toggle that comes up at the bottom. Now this is another really cool thing, and that's pretty much all we have to do. Click the volume up and click the power button at the same time. Now all the photos will come up in your photos application, so you can click right here. You can quickly edit this specific screenshot like this, or you can make your way over to your photos application right there. And you can just click on photos there, click on screenshots, and you'll be able to see the screenshots and the photos right there too, which is really awesome. So that is pretty much a quick breakdown out of exactly how to use your iPhone 14. And it's a great little phone. I like it a lot. And honestly, I think you made a good choice. Whether you got the 14 or the 14 Plus, they're going to last a very long time. They have a ton of power within them, and I'm excited for you to use these devices. If you have any other questions or if you have any thoughts, you, I also have my second channel where you can go and look at a ton of other iPhone 14 videos I've made. So chances are I probably already made a video about it. But if not, leave a comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.